it's time to go one on one presented by our friends at Bob's Discount Furniture linebacker TJ Edwards on the clock he's one of two undrafted free agents to make Philadelphia's 53 man roster from training camp uh, let's talk in terms of your translation from college ball yeah. to the world's biggest stage you hear that all the time yeah. right what's what's been the key for you I mean it, it was definitely different at first you know it's a complete you know, culture shock. You come in here and you see all the all the guys that you, know, you grew up watching and, yeah. and stuff like that. And um, but I think you know, at the end of the day, football is football. And being around those great guys, I was able to watch and learn some things very quickly. So it was cool. Jim Schwartz telling us, "Hey, every time we put this kid in the game, he just makes the plays that come to him. Right? Yeah. Uh, assignment sound. Your yeah. physical. Your teammates echoing that statement with me, saying he just makes things happen. How would you describe your game?" I mean, really, uh, I learned it, learned that in college, to be honest with you. It's one of those things to where we were, you know, you're 111th, we called it, but it's one of those things to as long as you do your job, you know, the rest of the team's going to fit in place. And, um, you know, that's what I try to come here and do as well, just because I know there's guys around, around me that are going to make a lot of plays. So if I just kind of do my job, uh, things will happen. So, and, and so far, it's, that's, that's worked. You look so incredibly comfortable out there. And dare I say, you even bring a little calmness yeah. to the game. What's really going through your mind? I mean, that's, that's kind of always been the player that I've been. Yeah. Um, you know, a coach told me a long time ago, that you never want to be too high, you never want to be too low. Um, and if you're right in the middle, you know, that's where you're performing your best. So I really try to do that every, every time I'm out there. And, um, you know, I love finding the football, so I'm trying to do that as well. Got a nose for it, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, I try to, I try to. That dependability and durability can all be traced back to your time at Madison. 52 yeah. starts in your yeah. four years with Wisconsin, second most in school history. Uh, but how did your experience there, and like you yeah. said, tough, smart, durable, that's what Wisconsin is all about. You're yeah. a walking billboard for them. Uh, how did your experience <laughs> help prepare you for this moment? Yeah, I mean, you know, going into going into the school there, it was kind of like coming in here, to be honest with you. I went in, and there's a lot of big faces, big names, like Melvin and those guys, yeah. and you soon find out how, how that world kind of works, and you're able to kind of, you know, make it your own. And I think, you know, just going through that process, it, it really prepared me for this level and, you know, going through the, the rookie the rookie thing and all, and all that stuff and, and knowing that, uh, it's, you know, you're not the first rookie, you're not, you're not going to be the last, you just got to put your head down and work and, um, but no, it, it's been a really fun process and it's you know still going, so it's fun. You mentioned Melvin, of course, in week eight. Melvin yeah. Gordon uh, gets his first touchdown of the season. Yeah. TJ Watts uh, getting the thing Freak. done on Monday Night Football. Yeah. Do you guys have a group text? Do you, do you stay in touch with these guys? Um, I mean, Melvin, I think everyone knows how special Melvin is, and, and we knew that a long time ago. Um, but, you know, TJ and I are definitely pretty close, and um, to see him out there having fun, you know, he's always a guy, guy who's bringing energy and things like that, and you can see that emotion on the field, and um, it kind of makes me, you know, inspires me to do the same. So, um, you know, I like to talk a little trash to him as well, you know, a little make some comments on what he did wrong healthy. and things like that. Yeah, yeah you, got healthy, yeah. you got to. You got to. But, it. no, he's, he's been really good for me. Uh, going back to the 2019 draft, our friend Duffy, I don't know if you've had an opportunity to meet him yet, but he was singing your praises, saying that <laughs> TJ is a trust-the-tape player. What do you want to prove out here, TJ? You know, I'm, just, I'm really just a guy who, who's going to do his job, like you said, but I also love to make plays. Um, that was something that I think, you know, at this level you have to do no matter what. Uh, there's a lot of guys who can do their job, but guys who, who make plays stick around. So that's what I'm, I'm really striving to do every day, and the only thing that's going to help me do that is learning from these guys around me. So it's been fun. Work ethic is a funny thing. You, c you yeah. can't teach it, and yeah. you've got it. When, when you talk about having eye discipline, mm -hmm. right, and being in that zone, how are you able to just stay one step ahead? I know yeah. it's easier said than done, but it always fascinates me to, to find out how that skill set is, is brought forth. Yeah, um, I mean, I hate to keep reverting back, but yeah. it's it's one of those things to where at, at Wisconsin we were you know heavy on on film study and heavy on on reading things, and um, I think a little instincts go with that as well. But just coming in here, the preparation is even kicked up a, a higher notch, and um, it's one of those things where you have to be on your keys at all times. And um, I try to do that every every play, and because I you know I want the guys next to me to be able to count on me. You don't get rattled, do you? Uh, I try not to. Yeah. I try not to. It's, it's one of those things where I've been, you know, I've been in bad plays and I've been in good, so mm -hmm. I've kind of, you know, seen them all, and I know that it's, it's going to get better. You also played quarterback in high school. I know yeah, that scouts like to eat that up, back right? But, but I'm certain, you know, that you can utilize that skill set too, mm -hmm. where you are now in terms of your communication and everything attached to it. Yeah, I mean, 
uh, in, in high school, I was really kind of the, the center of the offense and, you know, I was the one that had to be the, the confidence guy and the, the communicator and, you know, it's not much that changes going to middle linebacker. So you come in here and, and guys are looking at you and expecting you to, to know what, what's going on. And we have some great ones here that I was able to learn, that I'm able to learn from with Nigel and, and Nate Gary and Kamu and guys like that. So um, it re you really see how important that is at this level. But I think, you know, from an early age, I've had a, I've had a head start on that. Coming off your most productive week as a pro, what are you going to do yeah. for an encore with the Chicago Bears in South Philadelphia on Sunday? Yeah, I, it's it's crazy because Chicago's not a hometown team yeah. and everything like that. So, um, you know, I, was, I watched Philly versus Chicago last right. year from my couch. Like, it's it's surreal to me that, that this is happening. But, um, you know, like I said, I can't get too high or too low. I just got to attack it like how I attack any other game. And um, if my number's called, I got to be ready to make a play. Something that is striking to me, TJ, is your first interview mm -hmm. um, when you, you, you first touched down in Philadelphia. Yeah. You said that the culture here is a perfect fit for you. Yeah. How, how are you able to see that? How are you able to see forth? I just, I just think you get into this locker room and you, you talk to these guys. Obviously, we have superstars, you know, guys who are you know, best in, at their position and, and, and all that. So, but you come in here and you don't really, you don't really feel that. You know, everyone's talking to everyone. And um, you know, you really, it's something you want to be a part of, something you want to jump into just because everyone is on the same page all the time. And I think that's rare in a locker room. You know, it's even rare to have that in college. So to come here to the biggest level and have that, it's, it's pretty special. As I said, a walking billboard for Wisconsin <laughs> football in terms of the program. Uh, very highly intelligent and wise beyond your years. Good Thank luck you. this weekend, and thanks for joining us. Thanks. Thanks for having me. All right. All right. <laughs> TJ Edwards, one-on-one, -on -one, presented by Bob's Discount Furniture. We'll see you next time.